Welcome to our fifth video with data structures and algorithms. And in the last video, we talked about uh, the idea of insertion sort and how we're inserting elements of a list into an already sorted sublist. Now, here we have the pseudocode for this algorithm. And there's a couple things to point out before we start. Uh, for one, we're sorting this array of elements in no into non-decreasing order. Secondly, our indices in this example start from 1. And those of us who come from a programming background, we typically start from uh, index 0. We always start from index 0. So uh, don't let this throw you off. Um, in, in books about algorithms and such, they try to be as general as possible. And they typically start from index 1. So a couple disclaimers there. Now, we also talked about how in when we start this algorithm of insertion sort, we have we look at the first element, and we know that this element is already sorted. So our sorted sublist is done for this very first element. So as you can see, our for loop is, is starting from index two. So we don't we don't really need to worry about that. It's already sorted. So here's our sorted sublist so far. And as we move to the next line of code here, pseudocode, uh, we see that we have a key value. So what's the key value? Well, our key value is going to be here at our index j. As we can see, we're starting from 2. So it's going to be that value, the value that's in there. So for us, that's going to be 1. And the next line here, we have to mark the end element, or the rightmost element, of our sorted sublist, which happens to be only one element at the moment. So there's i. Now we have this while loop. And basically what this while loop is doing, if I can just kind of explain this briefly, for one, we're saying, while there's still elements left to compare, OK, there's one here now. When we move this over, which is the decrement, we won't have any left. So while there's still elements to compare, and the element that we're currently at in the sorted sublist is greater than our key value, we are going to shift this value down or, or shift this value to the right in our array. OK, so and then we're decrementing our i value to check the next one. So let's do that. Now here. We're going to ask ourselves, is seven, we're going to do the comparison, is 7 greater than 1? It is. So as we said, we shift this down uh, to the right. And there we go. Now it's shifted down. And we also decrement our i value. Now, there are clearly no elements left, because now i is equal to 0. So we're done with our while loop. And here is where we actually insert the key value into the sorted sublist. So at i plus 1, which is here, we are going to insert our key value, which was 1. Now we're done with that iteration of the for loop. And we have a new sorted sublist, which is right here. There we go. And we're going to increment our j value to be over here. And we will also change our key value right, to be 10. And now our i value will be here. Our i index is here. So once again, while there are still elements left, which there are two, we're going to do a comparison. Is 7 greater than our key value 10? It is not. So we don't need to do any shifting. All we have to do is insert our key value into the already sorted sublist, which is at i plus 1. Now, it's already there, but we're going to insert it anyways, okay? because that's what our algorithm is actually doing. So I keep doing this like a 16. OK, there we go. Well, that's, not, that's totally worse. OK, there we go. Now, we're done with that, and we have a new sublist that is sorted. Okay, and that's right here. So 
we move on to the next iteration of our for loop. And I'm on the wrong layer. Okay, so j is now here. And our new key value is 0, right? Our element there. And as we said, i is right here at the end of our sublist. So <clears throat> we do our comparison while there's still elements left. Is 10 greater than 0? Yes, it is. So we move 10 down to the right. And we move our i value. We decrement our i value. And we do another comparison. Is 7 greater than 0? Yes, it is. So we move 7 down to the right. And we decrement our i uh, index. And we check again. Is 1 greater than 0? Yes, it is. So we move 1 to the right. And we decrement, again, our i value. Now, there are no elements left. i is equal to 0. So we're done with our while loop. And we're going to now insert our key value to i into i plus 1, which happens to be the first index right here. So 0 is there. And now we, move, we increment our j index. Now our j index is outside of our array. So therefore, there are no elements left to sort. And our sorted sublist, I forgot to do this, is now the entire list. And now you can see that our list is sorted, our, our array is sorted, and we're done with our algorithm.